If you were to ask me what some of the biggest launches of the year would be, this today would be a top 5 contender and that's because the Tata Punch finally has a rival. This is Hyundai's brand new micro SUV for India, the x -Term. Okay, let's talk about first impressions then. Now, this is not as SUV looking as the Punch does, it looks more like a um, sort of hatchback with some cladding on it. In fact, it looks really like an Ignis to me, like a sort of evolution of the Ignis. And that's a good and a bad thing because people do like a more butch SUV sort of stance that the punch has. This sort of doesn't have that. But again, this is a micro SUV. We're very clear with what we're calling it. We're not calling it a full-fledged subcompact SUV or sub-formated SUV. We are using that micro SUV name. It's the same name I use for the Citroen C3 as well. Now, on the front, there are a bunch of really interesting styling elements that I really do want to point out. But first and foremost, I really want to sort of wonder if well, you can't really remove this because there's a bit of a groove there. But maybe this can be get gotten rid of because this is just like an afterthought. But the grill looks nice and the headlamp placement looks nice. It's a projector and these H sort of daytime running lights actually look really nice because it ties up the front and the rear really well. We'll talk about the rear in a bit. But then there are some fake bits on here like these screws what are they trying to do are they trying to sort of uh, replicate the bezel on an ap watch there and looks a little funny isn't it maybe skipping that would have been okay but again it's just a little bit of design element they've added the grill though is sort of nice very sort of slitty and slim but these little elements are nice and i do like this color i've always been a fan of blue you know that i do like this color I didn't realize till I sort of looked up close, but the badge isn't just normal metal or chrome, it's actually brushed aluminium. That's a good little design touch that you guys added in. So, if you wanted design elements, if you wanted small pieces of detail, there's a ton of stuff going on on the outside of the extra. Should we move them back? Oh, actually, you know what? Let's quickly talk about these because, as with every Hyundai, there's just too much happening here, isn't it? 15s, of course, but again, just too much. Okay, let's move to the back because there's more of this stuff there. Okay, now obviously there are a lot of people around this car because as you guys clearly can see, this is an important launch. People are gonna buy this car by the hordes. Why? Well, the punch is a sub 10 lakh rupee SUV and that sells, but that's important. People want a Hyundai badge in their lives because there's a level of dependability with Hyundai that sort of comes along with a car like this. And this is of course a sub 10 lakh rupee car. Your friends and your family and your neighbors, people are gonna buy this. A lot of people are going to buy this. Okay, let's talk about the rear though because again, like the front, there's so much detail to really talk about. Now, the obvious stuff is the sort of square of tail lamps. Doesn't this look, if you really skew your eyes like an Audi Q2? Okay, anyways, the H pattern LEDs, that's what we saw in the front in the daytime running lights and it's there in the rear as well. So it's a nice sort of tie up of everything. And again, just like the grill, just like the hexagonal bits in the grill, most Lamborghini like there's some hexagonal stuff here as well in fact there's some hexagonal stuff on this sort of uh, panels too and this is great because it sort of opens up the two-tone possibility which we do get options of two-tone paint in this car and again those screws that we talked about in the front skid plate the here as well somebody who in the uh, Hyundai design team is an Audemars PK fan Royal Oak fan 100% because that's that's from there Okay, I'm going to put a picture of the watch on the screen so that you guys know what I'm talking about. But otherwise, I mean, it's a decent looking car from the back. The one detail that I really, really like though is this spoiler. It's almost as if it came from like a 90s tuner catalog, isn't it? Look at this. Like sides here. I mean, listen, I said, right? There is detail in this car. Clearly there is. And look, they've got a sticker saying 6 airbag is standard. Clearly, Hyundai wants to change people's opinion about how safe they are and how, or rather, how unsafe they are. Or whatever way you want to look at their end cap rating. But at the end of the day, this airbag sticker is here for a reason. People will read it and will know and they'll talk about it. So what do you think of the way it looks? I like the way the extra looks and especially in this sort of blue color. Yeah, overall, I give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments what you think. Let's move to the interior though, that's something that we need to now look at.
Okay, let's talk about the interior. And did you really expect Hyundai to have a revolutionary new interior as compared to the Aura and the Grand i10, or which this is based in the first place? No, not really. Neither did we. And we've seen pictures, of course, of this car, and we knew what was coming on the Exta. But there is something that I do want to talk about. Something that I think people might have missed. Now, this little piece on the Aura and the Grand i10 has a little textured sort of feeling, and on the Exta has a different texture it doesn't have the bumps that the other cars have and that and the sort of side panel here and the grill on the speakers i've seen that before i've seen that somewhere oh yes of course i've seen on the grill of the punch that is the exact same design or the same design element that tata uses on the punch these little three pointed three starred arrows and i think that's a rather interesting dig at tata motors isn't it that's hyundai being a little cheeky there Hyundai, have you been cheeky with this car? You have, haven't you? You've done that knowingly, haven't you? And that's something that is sort of, I think that's cool. I think that's something that everybody should talk about. I think a little tete-a-tete -tete between manufacturers once in a while is a good thing. Apart from that, of course, the one thing that really stands out about the extra is the fact that it is huge on the inside, mainly tall. It's the real return of the tall boy car. I mean, this is properly tall boy. I mean, I'm 5'10 and look how much headspace I have. And if you're six plus, you can easily fit into one of these, which is not something that you actually do have with a lot of other cars, smaller cars, hatchbacks, etc. in this segment. Apart from that, you get a digital instrument cluster, you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you get everything that you really need, and you get color-coded interiors as well. So if you have a blue car, you have these nice little blue accents everywhere. And Hyundai does this so well. Remember that green Hyundai Sandro with the green seat belt? That's something Hyundai has always sort of played at, color-coding things. Overall, nice interior, spacious, feature pack exactly what people are looking for and of course all of this stuff tried and tested to death so it'll all work perfectly fine it's exactly what people of this segment want okay so let's wrap this up now i want to show you this color because again this has been launched specifically with the punch in mind well, actually, it looks quite nice. The blue looks nice. This looks quite sort of different and cool as well. And of course, there's a make green great again movement on Instagram, right? If you buy this, you can make green great again. Okay, let's talk about the engines. The 1.2 liter, tried and tested. The same stuff you get in the Grand Iron and the Aura and stuff like that. 83 horsepower, 114 newton meters of torque. And just over 19 kilometers per liter on the uh, manual and the automatic. I think I made a mistake in that spec. Let me just quickly check it on my phone. Yeah, it is the horsepower and 140 newton meters of torque. I was right. I don't need my phone once in a while. Okay, anyways. Um, so, try and test the engine. You get the manual gearbox. You get the automatic gearbox. And, of course, right at the launch, Hyundai is offering a CNG version on this as well. So, there's really something for everybody in uh, the Exter, which is great because that method has worked for all of automakers. Just give every option imaginable right at launch. Don't let people wait for different things to come in. Will a turbo engine come into this? I don't really think so. Should a turbo engine come into this? Yes. But well, nonetheless, this is what you get. Okay, let's talk about pricing, right? This, of course, is going to go up against the punch. And both this and the punch start at the same price point. 5.99 lakh rupees. Now I'm going to need my phone because I really can't remember prices. Okay, so 5.99 to 9.31, 9.32 to be precise for the manual version. And then Hyundai has given only starter prices for the AMT and the CNG range. So the AMT range starts at 7.97 lakhs, which is a great price point, isn't it? And the uh, CNG version starts at 8.24. Again, that is something that is a very good price point to start off with. So, simple, sensible, sub 10 lakh rupee car, isn't it? That's what people have been waiting for. Small SUV, micro SUV, under the 10 lakh range. Again, remember, Hyundai badge matters because people sort of trust that a lot. I did say a lot, didn't I? Tell me what you think about the car in the comment section. As always, you guys might like it, you guys might hate it. I really wish this little plastic piece extended here because this little piece is annoying me. This little thing is making my OCD go a little bit crazy. But apart from that, great details, nice interior, nice sort of overall way it looks, nice price point as well. Another big, big seller on Hyundai's hands in my opinion. But again, I want your comments. I want your opinions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you when we drive this, well, two days from now. So stay tuned to us, uh, sort of stay updated by checking our social media for all the updates from that drive on literally the 12th of July, 2023. All right, 
signing off for now guys